A terrifying ride for two 17 year old girls Saturday morning after that minor accident in Ferndale led to road rage. Yeah, police tell us the other driver has a permit to carry a concealed weapon and he pulled his gun. Jason Colthorpe live at Woodward and Eight Mile where this all went down. Jason, was there something other than this traffic accident that led up to this? Not according to this police report, Steve, or the young driver who's only had her car since last October. She said the initial uh, encounter was so minor, all they did was bump side view mirrors. But when she went to pull over in that area back there, out came the gun. She took off, and it all started and ended right there. I was afraid for my life, actually, that day. Afraid because, according to the Ferndale police report, another driver, 35 year old Jeffrey Peterson, had just flashed his 38 caliber Ruger handgun at her and her 17 year old passenger. Tyler Mims admits she was at fault when she sideswiped Peterson's SUV, but as she pulled over, she saw the gun, and that's when the chase ensued. I was just trying to figure out how to get away from him, so we just like turned to a couple neighborhoods, and he still was like following us, like he just didn't leave. She also hit another car trying to get away before Peterson boxed her in at a red light. That's when a witness told police he got out and pointed his gun at the teens. I thought, I mean, he was going to use the gun. I, you know, that's the only thing you can expect when someone's like holding a gun out at you. Luckily, that's the exact moment when police arrived. Her life could have been over in an instant, over nothing. Mim's mother was furious when she heard about it, but she couldn't believe it when she saw Peterson's mugshot. He looks like a, you know, a man that would try to help my daughter, not pull a gun out on her. Peterson is charged with assault with a dangerous weapon and is out on bond. I reached out to him tonight for this story, and he simply said he did not want to comment on the situation. We are at 8 Mile and Woodward. Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. Well, Jason, what are police telling you? Have you been able to talk to them about it? I have, Kim, and they're a little surprised that a CPL holder would do this. Uh, frankly, somebody who's obviously had training enough to get the license uh, and then pulls a gun out like this, uh, they, should know, they say that CPL holders know the only time you're pulling that gun out is if you feel your life is in danger or someone else's life. Yeah, Kim. yeah that's right. Those girls probably just so scared in that instance. Okay, uh, Jason, we appreciate it very much. Steve?